Hi everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Today I am making a soap. It's a hot pink lime fragrance. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that as the name or not. It has all kinds of fruit and stuff in it. So I'm using a groovy green from Be Scented. I also have a magenta color from Be Scented. And then I have lemon drop and electric orange, both from Nurture Soap Supply. And I'm going to try something a little bit different on the top. So I've already got my kale and clay and everything mixed in here, so let's go ahead and add the lye solution. It looks a little bit cloudy because I tried to stick blend it. It had a little bit of lilac, and I thought, why can't I stick blend it? And I did, and it kind of made, um, it, kind of made it a little bit cloudy, but I think that's fine.
I'm going to try something a little bit different. After I, after I finished pouring this, I threw this in the freezer for about 15 minutes so that the top would be more solid so that I could try something different. I have um, a little bit of each of the colors on this plate. And I had ordered a while ago, there's a million of them, all of these cake, or all of these painting palettes. I think that's what they're called, palette knives. And they're in all different shapes and sizes to make all different kinds of leaves and petals. And also just a regular cake, a regular cake, whatever it's called. I have one of these. So I'm just gonna try to kind of, I'm gonna probably use a smaller one at first. I'm gonna just do some leaves or some um, petals, try to anyway. It's still a little bit soft, which is, I guess it's okay, because with the white blending in with it, I think it will be kind of pretty. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to, I don't know what I'll do just swirl in the top or something. I really thought this was set up pretty good, but apparently it isn't. So I'm gonna have to kind of just do a blob and then try to spread it out a little bit. This won't come off of here.
and cut this soap. I don't have a name for it yet. The fragrance description is like tangerine, grapefruit, lemon, lime. And that's how the top turned out. Um, obviously, I was disappointed. This white base was did not set up in the freezer like I had hoped. So that was working against me. Um, the only thing that was good was the actual the colors let me, were a good consistency for me to play around with. But I do want to do this again. Um, I just have to make a few changes because this looks kind of like a little kid <laughs> painted on the top. The colors are pretty and the fragrance is amazing. I just have to come up with a name for it. It's, I haven't used um, bright colors like this in a while and they're really pretty. I thought maybe I had over swirled it, but it seems okay. You guys, oh my gosh. My husband the other day was leaving or coming home, I can't remember. He's like, hey, did you know the nest is out here? And if you guys have like watched my videos for a long time, you know that I have the same female duck that comes back every year and lays eggs right by the bush, right by my front door. And she's back again, and there was an egg in there. And... So she comes and she's got two males that are always with her. And she, there was one that, that day and now she laid another one this morning. And I'm afraid that it's so early. It's like the weather has been so warm this winter. We really haven't had much of a winter. And I'm wondering if like, they're thinking it's spring already and it's only the beginning of February. So um, it is supposed to cool down a little bit. I'm hoping that, that it's not too early. Um, but yeah, she's back again. I was so excited. I'll take pictures once she gets them all laid. Last year she laid, I think, 11 or 12. And all of them hatched except for one. And that that's the group that Hoppy is in. I always talk about Hoppy, the one that's missing her little foot. She's around here. And comes and I feed them bird seed. So yeah, we have quite a few ducks out here, and I know a lot of them were her, her babies. So so excited that she's back. So I think if I wanted to do something like this again, what I would need to do is just pour the soap and let it set for a day, and the next day mix up a small batch you wouldn't need very much and do it that way because in other thing that worked against me was the fact that it was in the wooden mold and I couldn't get you know because of the sides I wasn't able to get my hand down in there like I you know the right angle so I may have to use a different mold to try that again I'm sorry I didn't leave the camera on while I was doing it I was kind of frustrated and I was like this isn't gonna work and if I thought I'll turn it back on if I figure something else out um, I just, that's a pretty top. And, yeah, I just ended up showing you when I was finished. I, I couldn't decide how I felt about it. Lots of swirls. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video.